Dry robes, they're bloody everywhere, aren't they? They're these massive, waterproof, oversized kites that were invented, really, for surfers and wild swimmers so they could get changed underneath the kite so nobody saw their busters or their twig and berries. Very clever. But, of course, it's not just wild swimmers and surfers wearing them. Is it chuffing hell fire? No. It's dickheads at the pub. It's dickheads at the supermarket. It's dickheads everywhere you're chuffing. Look! Numpties walking round in what looks like a waterproof duvet. <laughs> They're basically half kite, half towel. And it wouldn't surprise me if they start accessorising with a chuffing hairdryer wrapped around their neck, you know, like a scarf and that. <laughs> it's very fancy. And they're absolutely massive and all. They're like one of those kites that two kids had used, one getting on other shoulders, wrap them round to try and sneak into cinema to watch Emmanuel 3. They're really chuffing expensive as well, which is why they've become a, some sort of status symbol. Whereas, to me, it looks like they've all entered the world's biggest competition and they've all won every single last one of them and these dry robes come in all sorts of different colors but the one that most popular seems to be camouflage i'm not surprised because i don't think i'd want to be seen in it either and if that's not bad enough i saw a chuffy dog yes a dog wearing a dry robe the other day it looked bloody ridiculous although maybe it were two dogs trying to sneak into crufts what does a dog want with a chuffy dry robe? You know that thing underneath the dry robe? You know, all that hair and stuff. That's a kite. They've got a kite. I was so offended, I did a little bit of sick in my mouth. <laughs> in my mouth! Chuff me. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old. So please, young people of today and middle-aged dickheads, I've seen you. Please stop it. For the love of God, stop it.